and welcome to the episode 36 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today's highlights include an historic first, the continuation of a national tour, and the shooting of a video. In the evening of the 5th of February 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, had their first engagement with Peak Promotions, an agency that ran jive dance nights in four suburban venues around Liverpool. The Holyoke Hall in Wavertree, the David Lewis Club in Great George Place, the Columbia Hall in Witness, and the Blair Hall in Walton. Tonight, the band was at the Blair Hall, a dancing hall on the second floor of a cooperative in Walton Road that has long been demolished and turned into a supermarket. Not a good news for Beatles sightseers. Eventually, the lads would perform at the Holyoke Hall and at the David Lewis Club, too. A significant double feature in 1962. The Beatles performed a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool and an evening gig at the Kingsway Club in Southport. Since Pete Best was ill, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney were forced to find a substitute drummer. They immediately decided to ask to someone they had known for years, at least from the Kaiser Keller days in Hamburg. It was Ringo Starr. Ringo agreed to replace Best for the day, and so today marked the first time that John, Paul, George and Ringo stepped on a stage together. In 1963, the package tour with Helen Shapiro resumed, with a second date at the Gaumont Cinema in Doncaster. The event was photographed by Charlie Worsdale, who, in Martin Creasy's Beatlemania book, recalls, they were playing Ray Charles records on a portable player and tracks by people like Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley. I remember them joking among themselves about how audiences were reacting to them. They were poking fun at an audience which was now largely screaming girls, who practically drowned out their music. Beatlemania had already begun. Moving on to 1964, the Beatles took a plane from Paris to return to United Kingdom, landing in London at 1 pm. They were greeted by about a hundred screaming fans and by the usual crew of journalists and photographers. The Fabs gave a press conference about their experience in France, the music scene over there, and the fact that they could finally be heard by the audience for the first time in months as the French were not screaming as much as the Britons. On the 5th of February 1967, having filmed the promotional video for Strawberry Fields Forever, the Beatles started working on the clip for Penny Lane. The shooting took place in Angel Lane, London. Director Peter Goldman decided to recreate the looks of a Liverpool suburban scene in the East, East London street with the band walking around in the cold and riding horses. The shooting took four hours, starting at 12 noon and ending at 4 pm. The area looks very different today after redevelopment in the 1970s. Anyhow, this footage was used along with location footage coming straight from Penny Lane, where Goldman and his production crew filmed the green Liverpool double-decker and the barber shop sign. In 1968, Ringo Starr took part to the camera rehearsals for his appearance in Scylla, the Scylla Black's BBC special. The rehearsal went on from 1.30 to 5.30 pm and from 6.30 to 10 pm at the BBC Television Theatre in London. In 1969, in the Apple Studios, Glyn Jones prepared stereo mixes of I've Got a Feeling, Don't Let Me Down, Get Back, one of the 909 and Dig a Pony, to be used in the Get Back album. All the songs had been recorded on the rooftop concert of the previous 30th of January, which we covered in episode 30 of What A Fab Day. This day in 1970 saw Ringo Starr putting more work on Love Is A Many Splendored Thing, one of the songs for his Sentimental Journey album. After the remake of the song, 
done on the 3rd of February, Ringo decided to re-record his vocal part one more time and completed the task between 2.30 and 6.30 pm at the EMI Studios. A further session to work on the song, planned for the 6th of February, was cancelled. Today's session included a mixdown of the work. This concludes another episode of What A Fab Day. If you like the show so far, please visit www.simonmas.com support to see how you can help me out and make me feel less alone in this endeavor. Even telling your friends about the podcast or leaving me a comment works wonders in this regard. In the episode description, you'll find a link to the bibliography of the project with plenty of Amazon affiliate links for your shopping needs. The price for you will stay the same, and Jeff Bezos will give me some pennies as a thank you. Come on, Jeff, tell your friends about what a fab day to. Um, <clears throat> for the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.